in front of the Lata Mangeshkar statue. It's Team NDTV saying final goodbye on day one of this coverage because there'll be several such coverages coming for you with my colleagues Tanishk and Ranveer. Our entire team of camera persons, engineers have been there make, bringing to you all the sight sounds and ideas, the big colors of this big visit of the Prime Minister. Today, what, the big highlight was about infrastructure push. He had positioned himself as a man who can very comfortably marry that image of good governance with spirituality. 22nd will be about spirituality. Today was about sending that message that Ayodhya is getting ready for the Ram Temple. That's why an uh, airport, a station, several infrastructure projects. So what do you think is the big highlight, Ranveer? Precisely, there was 46 uh, major projects worth rupees 15,700 crore and uh, Ayodhya, as far as uh, traditionally Ayodhya was uh, considered as a Shapit Nagri. Shabit. Cursed, cursed, ah. cursed by Mata Sita. Achha. So today, this cursedness is, has vanished because hmm. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was here and I am a resident of Gorakhpur. Gorakhpur is around 140 kilometers away from Ayodhya. Yogi is Nagri. Yes, of course, <laughs> Yogi is Nagri, but it's Baba Goraknath's Nagri. Hmm. So I belong to Gorakhpur and I have been visiting Ayodhya since my childhood. Hmm. So I have seen Ayodhya uh, with very less uh, facilities, amenities, but now this picture has been changed. See, Just this look is at the those. Road. See the roads, yeah. see the infrastructure, yeah. see... Uh, the widening the of the roads, the, the beautification which has happened, the big pillars that we can see. The connectivity, because hmm. uh, major, t most of the trains uh, from Gorakhpur or Bihar, hmm. which connects to Delhi, goes from Gonda, not from Ayodhya, but now, after Prime Minister's today's visit, so many Vande, Vande Bharat, Amrit Bharat, these trains will uh, go through Ayodhya. So people of Ayodhya uh, are feeling that uh, they are getting an airport, they are getting uh, railway stations, they are getting better road services, they are, they are uh, getting better electricity facilities and obviously Ram Yes, temple. so this is a temple town being decked up. You know, uh, Tanish, I was in Ujjain during the Madhya Pradesh election coverage what we saw was phenomenal because of the Mahakal corridor the job opportunities which have been created every home in the city has been converted into bed and breakfast you know yeah. so that is something that we will be seeing also in Ayodhya but tell me uh, Tanish this poster yeah. these posters are about development this these is a, this these are about saying that Bijli Sadak Pani is something that the Prime Minister has guaranteed that those posters of personal guarantee, Modi guarantee, that one. Modi ki guarantee again, har ghar tak swach jal. Exactly. We are seeing that along with these images. Yes, of course, you know, and as you were mentioning about the images here and uh, so people are really ecstatic and they are very upbeat about the fact that the city is finally going to see some progress, some development. I would like to, you know, uh, sum it up in three T's huh. Temple, Technology and Tourism One of course it That's is a very well put actually Yeah, huh. so one of course it is a temple town Two, there is a lot of advancement, technological advancement There is new railway station, new airport and a, and a lot of things coming up And of course all this to make it a tourism centre So Tanishk, the fourth T would like to sum up in three T's <laughs> Technology, <laughs> te Temple, Technology and Tourism you were actually talking about guest house. Guest house is right just 200 meters from here. There is a whole society hmm. out of which around, you know, 60-70% of, you know, families have actually converted their houses into guest houses because of a scheme that allows them to, you know, run the guest houses for the tourists, bed and breakfast for the tourists without any commercial payment and no electricity will be paid at any commercial rate. So, of course, uh, Tourism is, uh, this is also, this will also have an economic impact on the people. A lot of guest houses are coming up. Hmm. So, of course, people, people, hmm. especially, especially young students are very ecstatic, ecstatic yes. about, about it. Uh, the young generation, especially, is very looking forward. A few days back during the Potsdam, there were young bands performing uh, here. Hmm. So, yes, a yes, lot so of forward looking. An interesting uh, the aspect was that the drummers that you spoke to, they're drummers. I mean, uh, I would like to add yes. one thing. Yes, please. In last two years, hmm. more than 100 uh, hoteliers approached the district magistrate in Ayodhya and 
they are interested in building hotels, five star hotels. Hmm. And so many uh, um, hotels are being constructed here in Ayodhya. So obviously, when big hotels, hmm. big uh, uh, better coming, uh, uh, vehicle facilities and other facilities hmm. will come Ayodhya, and the footfall obviously, the footfall hmm. will uh, increase. increase. And then things then will change. Yes. Things will obviously hmm. change. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. You you made an interesting point here. Uh, I, I would ask the camera person to pan a little because there is a vehicle movement that's happening as you well. see a lot of such vehicle movements now. <laughs> yes. And, and uh, you know, uh, what you said about the three T's and another uh, T was you and Tanishk the T was uh, reporting from Ayodhya a few days back and he had spoken to some drummers. Yeah. So there is that mix of modernity, you know, trying to keep pace yeah. with the modern culture, the, the youth and marrying that again with heritage. Yes. So you spoke to also the one of the priests. So what was the communication like? Of course, you know, the priests were also, in fact, all the priests here are very, you know, uh, they are very positive about the future that this is not just, this is, this is being promoted not just as a tourism hub, but, you know, religious tourism is being promoted here. Uh, just like Varanasi, we know how popular Varanasi is. Hmm. Uh, in fact, you know, I, 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 I've been speaking to a lot of foreigners also and I know, know of people who stay in Varanasi for months, hmm. two months, three months. They just stay there for no, just, they just want to be in Varanasi. So, of course, we can also, hmm. we can also expect similar, similar kind of, you know, response for Ayodhya city as well. Yes, and, and uh, final words or the last word I would say uh, to Ranveer who is a Gorakhpuri? Yes. Kya bolte hai? Gorakhpuri bolte yes. hai na? Ha, so Gorakhpuriya. Gorakhpuriya. Okay. Uh, Ranveer, you know, I have visited Ayodhya for covering other events. But Ayodhya looks much more cleaner. And it, there's a lot of anticipation in the air, even we, if, even though we are looking at the chill here. But uh, there's a lot of anticipation and it's very, very clean city now. This is because of participation of the local people of Ayodhya. They are involved in the development process. Hmm. Uh, you can see the roads. It's clean. It's clean because of Nagadigam and also because of the residents of Ayodhya hmm. who are participation in the clean, cleanliness process. Also, they are uh, inviting people to visit Ram Temple, Hanuman Gadi, Saryu Ghat, which is uh, adjacent to this Lata Mangeshkar Chowk. Hmm. So they want people, uh, the local people want others to come here. And the footfall has already increased a lot. If, if we compare before 2019 and after 2019, there, is a, there has been a massive change. Okay. Tell me what will happen in the next few days in the run-up to 2022? Uh, I mean, uh, 22nd January 2024. People are very much excited. No, but events, in terms of events. <coughs> Who uh, all should we anticipate? Will there be some puja ceremonies? What will be the ceremonies the which will happen? Puja ceremony will begin from uh, 16th of January and hmm. it will continue till 22nd hmm. when the grand Pran Pratishtha consecration event will happen. So the puja ceremony will start from 16th but as far as the devotees are concerned, a lot of people. We are getting calls that how pass get the pass? How can we pass? So they can't get the pass? Obviously. Huh. It, it will not happen, but people are so much excited that huh. they are calling Reporters people like us yes, that we need pass. But, huh. So it is very difficult to arrange passes because the passes will be limited. Hmm. Prime Minister will be here. In so, all, how many people will be allowed inside the Ram Temple premises on, 20, on, on sec, uh, 22nd? 8,000. 8,000 8, invitations uh, will be given to different uh, politicians, businessmen, saints, and uh, and many other persons, obviously, Bus uh, yeah, lawyers who have contributed in the yes. legal process, the laborers who have worked inside oh, the temple. Have... Fifteen percent of the total workforce will be invited. Maya, before uh, before wrapping up, yeah, before the wrapping final up, words to the <laughs> the tea, the final tea. <laughs> yeah. No, I was just you know yesterday last night only. Uh, uh, I a friend of mine actually called a childhood friend of mine who belongs from Patna, is working in Bombay, and now he asked me what is the situation like in Ayodhya, and he wants to set up a business. Of t-shirt and he's an MBA and he is he's earning very good money and but now he's thinking See, so, of yes that's what yeah. you know a temple town does but uh, yes uh, prime minister's date with Ayodhya for the uh, you know 
beginning of multiple dates has come to an end. Uh, he has addressed a rally as well, uh, flagged off multiple uh, trains to ensure greater connectivity. And yes, with that, NDTV will continue this coverage. A big thank you from Ranveer. With, with the picture of that. Our yes, team. <laughs> our team is right there taking a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, Ranveer, uh, me, Tanishk, a big thank you and thanks so much for watching.